Can Mike talk about Genesis 3.22, please? So, I mean, I can just read it. It says, Then the Lord said, Look, at, look, the human beings have become like us, knowing both good and evil. What if they reach out? Yeah, cutting out again there. Did so, you, oh, did I, you, said, you said, what if they reach out? And take fruit from the tree of life and eat it. Then they will live forever. Mm-hmm. So that's the verse. I think he's talking about the, yeah. the tree, obviously, that Adam and Eve ate from. So Yeah, there were two trees in the garden, right? The tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of, and the tree of life. And they eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then they're forbidden from eating the tree of, of the tree of life. That they would have eternal life now in this state of this sin. Uh, when you get to Revelation, we have actually the tree of life being restored to us. The idea is that what, what fell in the fall has been restored through Jesus Christ. Um, but that's the idea is like, okay, you, you've, you've sinned, you don't get eternal life now. It's like, what's interesting too, is that this theology is in the beginning of the Bible. Um, some guys will like to suggest that the theology is developing really slowly and like there's different theologies, but all of the essential theological points in the scripture start in the book of Genesis. And this is one of those, you know, sin and death. That's the beginning of it right there. Um, I don't know what other question he might have about it though. Okay. Um, actually, I just noticed his other comment. He says, so the Lord says he knows good and evil in this verse. And now with Adam and Eve's disobedience, they also do. So is the knowledge of evil not wrong, but what you do, but what you do with that knowledge is what is sin, evil? Okay. Um, let me, I'm not sure how to, how to best answer that question. Um, yeah. He has become like one of us to know good and evil. So there's like an awareness of of moral dilemmas, of mm-hmm. of what of what's right and what's wrong. There isn't just an innocence because of an ignorance, but rather now I'm exposed to all of the potential temptations. Now God is aware of all that stuff. He has no lack in his knowledge of those things, but he's not tempted by sin. But me being, and here's where I'm going to venture out into a guess. This is a guess. What I'm sharing, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> I don't want to build a whole theology off of a guess, but I'm trying to work through something. Um, is that the, the very nature of Adam and Eve being entities other than God means that they're going to be having these opportunities to do things, maybe even desires to do things that are against God. And at one point, he's protecting them from that with some kind of ignorance that keeps them innocent. But but they say no. We we want. I want to partake of this this garden, this eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so now it's like their their ego is in the in the in the sense of self is being set against even each other, against the world around them, maybe even against God. And it's going to be a problem. He foresees that now now that they've chosen this path, they're going to be sinning. Um, I think there's a ton more that can be shared there. I, forgive me if that didn't make enough sense. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. these concepts, I, I I'll sit and have to think about it for a while to go. How do I break it down? So it's not just in my head, but I can get it out for others. But uh...